how strong is the link between rates and U.S. tech stocks? Uh, I, I think U.S. tech stocks are, are, are going are gonna to rise no matter what because of the big themes I I impacting tech, themes like metaverse, Web.3, uh, cryptocurrencies, quantum computing. If you're in that space uh, uh, as a tech stock, that then I think you're going to benefit almost regardless of macroeconomic issues. One of the major developments that we um, saw prop up these tech stocks over the last uh, several years has been when they have pulled back, uh, in particular um, when in investors have thought rates would go higher um, than, than previously thought, we saw retail investors get involved in a big way. And I wonder how that dynamic will hold up. Um, given all the other macro developments that are out there, will we continue to see retail investors get involved and pick up these stocks to help prop them up? I think you really raise a good point. And of course, one of the things that retail investors are really keen on the moment, uh, you know, right now, especially younger retail investors, are, are, are cryptocurrencies, the, the whole uh, uh, decentralized uh, web uh, thing. And, you know, cryptocurrencies as an asset class, they're worth about $3 trillion. That's the size of Apple. That's the size of the entire FTSE 100 uh, stock market. Uh, and it's growing fast. And if you think tech is a sector that's growing fast, you know, this is a competing asset class. Uh, Cyrus, the losses that we saw across tech stocks last week weren't just in these kind of future profit ideas, sort of fast growing but low profit model at the moment tech stocks. They were also in Alphabet and in Apple, but we did have Apple crossing that three trillion mark uh, last week. Do you think there are going to be more surprises to the upside this year with Apple that are going to keep investors interested? I, I think with, you asked about Apple in particular, and I think that's different to tech. I think Apple in particular, you know, we've had Tim Cook as CEO now for 10 years or, or, or so. In that time, uh, he's been, his execution has been absolutely phenomenal. The, the market cap's written, risen from about 350 billion to, to 3 trillion and a little bit down. Uh, but in that time, there's been almost no innovation apart from, you know, possibly the Apple Watch, whose operating system, operating system is an extension really of iOS. The TV, Apple TV didn't, was, was a bit of a flop in terms of, there wasn't a real new big blockbuster product. Now there's talk of new blockbuster products like uh, an electric car, maybe an autonomous car, uh, uh, smart glasses, something to do with the metaverse, perhaps. Uh, but until we see more evidence of that, and of course, Apple is notoriously secretive, uh, it's very hard to say. So I'd say Apple is probably the least, uh, from my perspective, the least likely to grow from here. Uh, in terms of maintaining its valuation, it's got a very, very strong ecosystem with very strong execution. So I see very little down, downside risk, but the upside uh, potential I see more uh, in other big tech stocks.